They're telling you when to get up. They're telling you when to go practice, what tournament we're playing in. They're arranging the transportation. That's another thing that I think the foreign players experience a little bit more than American players coming up is they, they do a lot more travel. So it might not have been. But what was it like transitioning from college to the LPGA Tour? What did you find out that, that, that on this level i got to do this to be better? Was there anything like that? Well, you're absolutely, absolutely right, Nick. I mean, it's a big adjustment. I mean, in college or a national team, everything is booked. All you did was show, you showed up at the, at the airport or the, you know, the train station, and uh, you, know, you really didn't have to think. But all of a sudden, you know, you're in charge of, of yourself and you know, your schedule and uh, you know, how to plan things. And just make arrangements. And uh, it, was, uh, it, was a big, uh, it was a big change. And uh, you know, like anything I do, I started to analyze things, I started putting goals together, I started putting a plan together, and uh, it was, again, it was a learning curve for me, but uh, it was exciting. I mean, I, I was really looking forward to being a professional and to you know, fulfill my dreams. Now, honestly, last night we gave you a small token gift that, that represented 72 wins on the LPGA Tour. Now, come on. You visualize your dream, and you ever think, that it would go as big as it did? No. I still have to think to myself. Um, I mean, to be honest, I, I joined the tour and I didn't even know if I was going to win a single tournament. Maybe a dream. And I mean, I, as a little girl, I would have three footers and pretend they would be for the U.S. Open, but you never know if you ever get the chance. So, uh, yes, I would say that I've done a lot more than I thought I could. I, I've been around some really, really special athletes. And you're right there at the top. There's a common phrase here that's kind of success for champions, kind of breeds more desire for success. The first win, um, I think it was a major. Yes. <laughs> and so you don't just have a first win as an LPG Tour player, but the first win, this may be a little bit different because it was a major, but walk us through the emotions of that win. Was it relief or was, or did it foster the, the, what I hear a lot of times that now want more of this? And then how do you, if there's a young girl out in the audience, or a young boy out in the audience playing junior golf, how, how would you coach them about him managing that success and taking building it? Well, I don't know if I was relieved to win. I think I was more shocked to win. I mean, it was. Uh, She's not humble, is she? Well, I think I was shocked to win. I mean, it caught me by surprise. I, you know, I always look at the leaderboard, but you know, I hadn't really had a chance to stay on the leaderboard. But uh, this particular week, I, I stayed up there, and then. And I, I, you know, ended up at the top, and uh, we could have asked for a better tournament to win in the U.S. Open. So I was very shocked, and I was overwhelmed. I was, um, I mean, I was totally out of my element. You know, I had practiced, obviously, on my game, hitting balls and cuts, everything, but I had never practiced. You know, what do you do after you win? You know, what are the expectations, and what, uh, what do you do next? So I was, uh, like I said, I was overwhelmed. As a matter of fact, I got back. I was. Uh, Southwest, and I remember um, the captain, you know, bringing up, congratulating me on on the flight, and all of a sudden everybody knew I was sitting in 35B. And, um, I was just, I was um, actually got a little sick. I was so overwhelmed. I had to go to the bathroom, and that was not kind of what you visualize if you know, it was open when. But uh, I got home, and I had uh, a lot of messages on my answering machine. And um, I decided to stay at home. I, I really couldn't handle uh, all the expectations. And at the time, it felt like a lot of pressure. And I remember getting a call from the commissioner at the time and asking me why I wouldn't play this week because I was, you know, because I'd entered. And I said, to be honest with you, I don't know how to handle this. And uh, I'm here for the long term. So give me a little break, a few weeks. I will recover and I will come back out. So, um, you know, if I would have been a little better prepared, then, 